Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Today I have another really special video to share with you. We have another exclusive hands-on look at a PowerCoin specialist release. This one is the historic Guy Fawkes mask coin. Now it's a really cool coin, but just before I get there, I just want to remind you that I did a review of the Venus de Milo coin on Monday. So if you haven't checked that one out yet, please do. It is really, really amazing. In my opinion, it's one of the most awesome designs of any kind of collectible numismatic coin that I've seen in a while. So do go have a look. Uh, just as a reminder as well, um, PowerCoin are an Italian-based numismatic collectibles company. Here's their details, their website, email, contact numbers and address. So do make sure you go through and check their website out. Uh, as a reminder, they've been very generous to offer some discount codes on these coins and also various other coins, uh, well, all other coins on their site as well. So remember, if you want either of these coins or some of the other coins that I've done reviews on for them, use the code BACKBULL10 and that'll get you 10% off these coins. That code is available until April the 30th. That's when these coins go on general release, so it's kind of a pre-order um, 10% off voucher. And the 5% code is good for anything else on their site. So even if these are not of interest to you, do go have a look at PowerCoin's website because they've got a huge variety of different coins available. And if you use the code BACKBULLPOWER, you can get 5% off anything there. Um, so do make sure you go check them out. Now, the Guy Fawkes mask coin. This is the second coin in the Guy Fawkes sort of series. And I have reviewed the first one, so I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. So make sure you go check it out. But it's a different kind of look and feel as to the Guy Fawkes traditional V for Vendetta Guy Fawkes mask. Um, now I'm just going to focus on this for a second because uh, this is the only coin physically that PowerCoin had and they've sent it to me. As such they haven't printed the COAs yet. Um, so this is kind of the COA, all the details here. It's Cook Islands coin, five dollars, so 999 silver, one ounce, finished in black proof. The mintage is 999. Um, so it's a really, really cool coin, nice mintage, nice uh, nice design. So let's have a look at it in close. So as with all of the PowerCoin stuff, it comes in this really nice cardboard box, really high quality stuff. And inside there we have the PowerCoin branded plastic case. And even though it's plastic, it is really, really swish. It's nice, it feels great. The corners are all folded down, so it's really, very pleasant. Nice felt bottom as well. And also, I think they, the coins actually really stand out incredibly well from this. Now, as I said, there's no COA in here. That would be tucked in in the top corner. Uh, but just the, you know, the coin leaps out from the, uh, the box here. So it's a really great display box. Um, but here we are, the coin. That's what we've come here to have a look at. So let's have a zoom in and have a proper look. Now, as I said, this is the second in the series. And this one has a very different look and feel to it than the first one. The first one was very much more of a kind of, almost like a modern take on the uh, the Guy Fawkes mask. This is much more of a traditional look at the uh, the Guy Fawkes outfit as well as the mask. It's still the kind of V for Vendetta uh, mask that we all know from the films, um, but you know it's got this kind of lovely background and now it's very difficult to kind of show on the camera because of the lighting and things. But this is kind of a black proof finish. Um, and if I had another coin just to show next to you, you'd be able to see that the um, the colour of the coin is very much a sort of dark grey rather than the silver, um, you know, silver shiny proof that we're maybe used to looking at these coins. Uh, so it's really cool and it really makes the mask stand out. It's The mask itself is using uh, smart minting technology to get this ridiculously high gloss sheen of this enamelled uh, finish. It also pretty high relief. Again, the camera's not probably going to do it that much justice, but the face of the mask itself leaps out from the coin, and just having this kind of black proof finish as well really makes it stand out. It is very, very cool indeed. And uh, also, we've got some fantastic detail on the outfit of the Guy Fawkes here as well. There's fantastic detail on the on the feathers from the hat uh, and the tunic as well. The hat itself is very, very cool. It kind of completes the image very nicely. It balances the coin out because you've got the kind of frosted finish of the tunic underneath and then you've got the frosted finish of the hat up the top as well. Um, it's just a really simple, elegant coin. I think it's fantastic. I really do like it. In my opinion, I prefer this one to the first one. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. They're both very nice, but this one just feels and looks a little uh, more traditional for me and maybe that's just my, uh, my look and feel, how I like my coins to look. Uh, as I said before, it is a Cook Islands coin, so we've got on the back um, the Cook Islands, $5. It's a 2017 release. Uh, queen finished to very high standard. Again, with this kind of black and finish, you can really tell on this side um, that it's not um, a traditional silver coin. And 
it's really, really high quality. I mean, we are looking at this as a very, very highly quality produced coin. And you'd expect so from the smart minting. And the finish on the queen's hair and crown is, is really good. So very, very nice indeed. Um, but this side is where all the action is and it's really very special. So yeah, I really like this coin. I think it's very cool. Uh, you know, if you're looking at it as an investment coin, we've got to remember that this kind of coin falls in the numismatic collectibles market rather than kind of the bullion market. And you will be paying more uh, than you would for a bullion coin, considerably more as a premium. But if we're looking at this in terms of how you measure a potential investment coin, in my opinion, I think it's got a good chance of it doing quite well. It's got a low mintage. It looks great, in my opinion. It sort of really does have something going for it. And will it have a demand in the future? Well, it is quite, you know, a recognisable um, image. The V for Vendetta mask is, you know, very well known. Um, I think there'll be a demand for it. There's kind of this cult following of the V for Vendetta. Uh, and as it's a one ounce coin, it is sitting within a decent price bracket, maybe compared to some of the two ounce numismatics. So potentially a little bit more popular in the future. But please remember, it is a specialist numismatic collectible. So I know that there'll be some people out there who won't like this just simply because it's not cheap silver. Now, just to remind you all of the discount codes, if you are interested in this, there's Backbull10, and that gets you 10% off this coin and all of the other coins that I've done reviews for PowerCoin on as well. Also, if you're not a fan of this coin, that's fine, but there are so many different coins on the PowerCoin website. Please make sure that you go and have a look at their website, and if you're gonna go and get anything, then use the code BACKBULLPOWER. That'll get you 5% off everything else. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up on it. Please share it around. Um, that would be very, very cool if you could do that. Um, otherwise, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so as well. There'll be more videos like this in the future, so please make sure you subscribe and you'll catch all of the updates on my channel as well as other videos that I release. I just want to say I hope you all have a fantastic week and thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.